Hello everyone, I'm Anne Lau from Beijing Institute of Technology. The title of our paper is Rumor Detection with Field of Linear and Nonlinear Propagation. We will introduce our work from the following four aspects. First, we will briefly introduce the background of this paper. The propagation of rumors is a complex and varied phenomenon in the process of rumor dissemination. In addition to rumor claims, there will be abundant social context information surrounding the rumor. Therefore, it is vital to learn the characteristics of rumors in terms of both the linear temporal sequence and the nonlinear diffusion structure simultaneously. However, in some existing research, Time-dependent and diffusion-related information has not been fully utilized. Accordingly, in this paper, we propose a novel model rumor detection with field of linear and nonlinear propagation to automatically detect rumors from the above two fields, fields by taking advantage of clan content, social context, and temporal information. The main contributions of this work can and are as follows we present first we first we present a node embedding method for rumor propagation based on rumor content and temporal information it has the ability to mine from prominent linguistic clues and extract abundant features from the relevant information surrounding the post second we design Nonlinear structure learning and linear sequence learning to integrate nodes hybrid feature and model the diffusion patterns and temporal sequence interactions respectively. In more detail, an RSL captures the characteristics of information flow in the typology along the paths of the propagation tree. RSL explores the interactions between rumor disseminating and temporal information and the uh, stance attention enables the LSL to flexibly learn the dependence dependence between the source node and the chart nodes. Finally, we evaluate our proposed model on two benchmark data set. The result indicate that RDLMP significantly outperforms the state-of-the-art approaches. Our model RDLMP consists of four components. In order to learn the significant features in the propagation structure, it is crucial to model the node's representation efficiently. The purpose of the RHFL module is to generate the unified vector by exploiting textual and temporal information simultaneously and highlighting the salient features that are likely to reveal the veracity. We here utilize both correct level embedding and word level embedding to generate the final representation for the ice word. After obtaining the word representations, we adopt bidirectional gating recurrent unit to map them into the high dimensional vector space. And we utilize the time step recording in the node to learn the temporal features as follows. And in order to comprehensively explore the correlation between text content and temporal information, we model a form aforementioned two features to generate the un unified node embedding rep representation, which is capable of enhancing the difference between nodes with high credibility and nodes with low credibility. Here we consider cre credibility as the quality that somebody or something has that makes people believe or trust them. Um, and for node BQ's feature credibility, Ability scores can be represent as follows. And next, mm, the eyes unit node embedding through feature field link can be expressed as follows.
nonlinear structure learning aims to highlight the value of capturing network-based features to represent the node to, um, to represent the nonlinear propagation patterns. The non-linear uh, non structure reflect the pace taken by rumors as they spread through communities. By integrating the information in the nodes along this path, the module can enhance the representation of source nodes through the structural uh, context features and discover clues that are useful in determining the authenticity of rumors. Before calculating, we first we first transform the H set into an adjacent matrix. If APC equals one, it means node C has a response to node P. Otherwise, APC equals one. And if APC equals one, then ACP equals one too. So the A, uh, adjacent matrix contains the path of rumor propagation tree from top to down and vice versa. We introduced two layer GCNs to learn nonlinear diffusion representations. And where, where, this, where these items is the nodes feature representation from the RHFL. And we add residual connections to the GCNs, which can increase the network dips and solve the pro problem of oversmoothing. We then employ mean pooling operators to extract the final structural representation G. The drift of rumors through social networks not only forms nonlinear patterns, but also establish linear interactions. In other words, the response of the, pub of the public to rumor claims are dynamic and change over time. Um, since social context information effectively reveals the sequential interactions that the information proliferation process over time, we propose linear sequence learning to aggregate the features of contextual nodes and represent the sequential propagation. Inspired by graph sample and aggregate, we utilize long short term memory to aggregate the feature information from a node's uh, from a node's neighborhood. However, the LSTM based approach makes the default assumption that the contribution of the latest response is the largest, and and this aggregator can only learn the engagement drift, but can no dynamically measure the importance of different response nodes. Consequently, we develop a stance attention aggregator to measure response nodes importance according to the space, um, according to the stance conflict between the root nodes and tribe nodes. Um, for the for the ice tribe node, we first level, leverage the text embedding to learn the conflict score. Um, where H1 is the textual feature of the root node and HI is the textual feature of the ice node. Next, the node, we can um, represent the node, Im node embedding with stance information. And we then obtain, obtain the contribution score to measure how important the ice node will be for the representation of sequential context information. And E is the contribution scores vector. And R1 represents the root node embedding. Mm -hmm. The attention co coefficient can be calculated via softmax. We then obtain the global response nodes representations and the computation process of attention aggregation is the same as that of RSTM, aggregate, um, RSTM aggregation. And finally, the sequential propagation feature can be represented as the connection and addition of the output state of two aggregators. After getting the 
nonlinear pattern and linear interaction features. We aim to highlight valuable shared feature and promote the deeper interaction between them. In this section, we introduce a transformer-based mod module to achieve this goal. The input of this module includes two metrics, the nonlinear propagation features and linear variation representation. Here, Q, um, query metrics is the nonlinear propagation embeddings. Um, key and value metrics are the linear variation representation. In order to derive the global features of the rumor, of the rumor, we filter the nonlinear and linear propagation representations, and then concatenate them with the shared feature. In this paper, we turn the rumor detection task into a binary classification problem. To infer the labels of the rumors, we apply the full connection layer and activation layer to calculate the label. And we choose cross entropy as our loss function. In order to facilitate comparison with the baseline methods, we evaluate our proposed method onto a public data set. We can observe that our proposed RDLNP achieves state of the art performance on both two data sets in the departure from previous study. Our proposed framework combines nonlinear diffusion model and linear time dependent model to explore diversity of rumor propagation. In order to analyze the contribution um, of each component of RDLNP, we compare the proposed approach with the variant RDLNP methods. And to testify that, RHFL can find linguistic clues and highlighting the salient features. We visualize the node representation of an event in the PHENE dataset. Finally, this is our main reference. Thank you. That's all my presentation.